Disability History, Panel 10, 1899 through 1910. Holocaust. Persons with disabilities, over 200,000, are the first victims of the Holocaust. Most of the greatest evils that man has inflicted upon man have come through people feeling quite certain about something which, in fact, was false. Bertrand Russell. Societal Values Slight regard for people with developmental disabilities. Concern with economic depression and war. Responses to Disability In the U.S., abandonment in institutions. Few services available in the community. Medical Viewpoint Beginning in the 1930s, Nazi Germany targeted people with disabilities and the elderly as a drain on public resources. Medical Viewpoint At Hadamar Hospital in Germany, more than 10,000 people with disabilities were killed between January and August of 1941. Medical Viewpoint The first killings were by starvation, then by lethal injection. Gas chambers soon became the preferred method of execution. After being gassed, the bodies were cremated. Medical Viewpoint During the 1930s, people with disabilities in Germany are referred to as useless eaters. Medical Viewpoint Doctors, not soldiers, were put in charge of killing the elderly and people with disabilities. In Nazi Germany, a Catholic bishop, Clemens von Galen, delivered a sermon in Munster Cathedral attacking the Nazi euthanasia program, calling it plain murder. In 1941, Hitler suspended Action T4, which had accounted for nearly a 100,000 deaths by this time. The euthanasia program quietly continued using drugs and starvation instead of gassings. Moral viewpoint. As a final act of abandonment, tens of thousands of people who died in our state institutions were buried anonymously in graves marked only by numbers. People of the time believed having names on the grave markers would be an embarrassment to the families of the deceased. Medical viewpoint. In Nazi Germany, 908 patients were transferred from Schuenbrom, an institution for retarded and chronically ill patients, to the euthanasia installation at Elfinghar to be gassed. A monument to the victims now stands in the courtyard of Schuenbrom. At the outbreak of World War II, Hitler ordered widespread mercy killing of the sick and disabled. The Nazi euthanasia program, codenamed Aktion T4, was instituted to eliminate life unworthy of life. Nazis sterilized 400,000 Germans and exterminated over 200,000 persons with disabilities. Connection to different time in history. In 1994, a group of self-advocates and allies began a project called Remembering with Dignity to place names on the numbered graves at Minnesota's institutions and to get an apology from the state for years of abuse, neglect, and abandonment. 